Stand by. And committing. Off target. Off target. Oh, I oh, destroyed it! Yeah, boy! Look at that! Okay, and welcome back to Fast Ship Performance Day. My name is Tim Davies, and today we're gonna to take it to another level, and I'm not talking about the 1997 boy band featuring Dane Bowers. No, I'm talking about DCS. Yeah, it's kind of the first time I've actually used DCS, to be honest, on the F5 and filmed it and put it on the YouTubes. So hopefully I'm gonna go and teach you a little bit about what the ranges up at Nellis are like. We're flying out of Nellis, it is in Nevada, it is in the United States, and we're gonna go fly north into some ranges in the F5 Tiger II, try and hit some bad people. On the way there, we're gonna hunt down some transport aircraft, probably not gonna find it, to be honest with you, but I will attack a very bad helicopter and then some very nasty vehicles before coming back home, hopefully making Nellis. Will I or won't I? Okay guys, so let's just bring up the map, shall we, just quickly, and you'll see we're down at the bottom here at Nellis. Ash is just taken from mid-flight, so as you can see, we're halfway there, but I did get airborne from here down the bottom, and then obviously the, uh, the victims of our attacks today with extreme prejudice are these BTRs up here. Um, obviously like troop uh, carriers, all sorts of things that we're gonna go and drop a plethora of weapons on. Um, we are heavy as a heavier thing, and also during the flight, I do have some glitches. Whether they're bugs or whether they're my mishandling of this very beautiful aircraft from the 1970s, I'm not too sure. Hit the comments then, let me know what you think. Subscribe to the channel if you can, guys, because it really helps me a lot. I'm using kit by Thrustmasters that they sent today, uh, and they've given me some things. They give me the Warthog Hotas, and it's made a massive difference to what I'm doing. Also, I'm using the Oculus at the moment, and what I have done is not recorded it during this actual kind of video. I had to replay it and then take loads of different different shots, so it is, it's taken me a world of time to get this kind of video up. I do apologize for that, guys, but if you want to support on Patreon, I do appreciate that. I'll keep these lessons coming. I did fly Tornado GL4 for about five years, and I was a military flying instructor for a decade. So, teaching, uh, obviously, flying instructions and attack weapons. Right, let's get on with it then, shall we? Guys, down here, the battery on. Generator's on. Right, okay, so we've got the bats and gens on, um, but I can't do the engine starts or anything at the moment because I need the fuel pumps on as well because I need um, the crew chief to connect, not ground power, uh, but what it does need to do, I need to do some stuff down here probably. Let's have a look. Don't know anything there, don't know anything there. Always check. You would go for each throttle here, full and free, but it doesn't seem to map them in this for some reason. So there we go. Does it map them yet? Yeah, full and free on each throttle there. Make sure there's nothing in the way. Guys, I'm using a Thrustmaster Warthog joystick and the A10 stick, uh, sorry, throttles and A10 stick sent to me by Thrustmaster. We are sponsored by Thrustmaster today. Thrustmaster, I changed kit from the T16000M flight control system. So I'm still using those pedals actually because I quite like them, but I've changed the crush now to the uh, Warthog, which is amazing. And I know it's amazing from the amount of PTSD it brings back. Let's get the group troop chief to um, give us some power then, shall we? So I'll map that button on my throttle here somewhere. Let's have a look up here. Right, F8, F5, and I believe it's F1. Chief, connect ground air supply. Chief, connect ground air supply. Copy. Because we don't have an AP. Guys, we don't have a, an AP or a GTS on this airplane. I am hot, thanks, yeah. So what we need to do is we need to blow air over that compressor blade to get it spinning, and then we can hit the igniters, um, which is the engine start button, which then will ignite the fuel. We'll get it to an operational, um, uh, get it get spun up, and then we're gonna bring fuel in using the throttles, which is the HP fuel for the aircraft, okay? So at the moment, what we're doing is we're literally just gonna get him to now blow air over that. So let's get him to connect that, which is uh, this one, and it's F853. Now watch over here. What you're gonna see, so you split, there you go. Supply there, wait till you get to about 15%, and I'm gonna hit the igniter buttons, well, the engine start buttons down here. I've got them mapped. Watch it go in, as it goes in. Cancel that, and now I can put the fuel in with the throttle. Watch it spool up. Now we're looking for an engine over temp, okay? So we're always watching the engine on start. Don't look away from that. And you'll see util pressure build here as well on the left, utilities pressure. I don't know much about the F5, but all jets kind of start in the same way. And the engine becomes self-sustaining. And then what I have to do is ask him to put it onto the other engine. So I'm happy with that, they're self-sustaining. Comes back down again, we have a minimum here, T6, fine. Nozzles are doing the funky thing. 
an RPM here around about 50%, 55%. Okay, so I need to do the same thing with the other engine here. Same process, speak to that. Apply ground air supply. Apply ground air supply. So let's get this engine up and running. With that left one, I can actually do a lot of other things. I'm not doing, I'm just getting both engines running now. I could run most on this jet Let's um, with just one engine. Let's have a look. So now I'm going to come across here. Engine, that's pressed on my amazing throttle thing. Fuel going in now. There we go. Back there to idle. We can see it accelerating up here. Always watch the start. Always looking for over temps. Come on, should just self-sustain. Yeah, it's coming up. Again, 50%, watching that for drop. Look at the intake doors. Okay, they're nicely open now. Okay, that's absolutely great. One thing we need, we need to do as well pre-takeoff is make sure we start balancing up these tanks. We don't have any external tanks on the aircraft today, guys. It's going to really limit us with fuel, so we're not going to hang around in the play area. The radio would be on. I would be speaking to ground. Tack anchor, come on now. Uh, down here, then. Dampers can come on. I like dampers and radar to standby. It's got to warm itself up. I don't need 40 mile range. I'll put it back on 30 there. We'll sort that out later. Now you're looking around your kit here. Obviously, you've got weapons on board, um, but basically, basically, go around the cockpit. We've done all the stuff back here. What's this? Chaff and flare pack. We'll put some on there. I've got those mapped up. Um, a lot of people pre arm these weapon switches prior to getting airborne. I don't do that, okay? This is this is pretty bad. All right, you don't want that, but you can travel some flap now. What I've done with flap is I can go check them so I can get a full. Okay, and I can also put it back to something called thumb switch. Let's just say thumb switch now, and the thumb switch is in the up position. So if I select that now, it should go to auto position and give me what I need for takeoff. We're going fixed for now. We'll try and work out in the air, guys. Working out on the climb. Don't want to mess around. Anyway, radar's on standby. Happy to come around here. Then we've got all these uh, boost switches here. Coming down, yes, you want an IFF or anything like that. Put those things on. Cockpit lighting, if you want to fly with cockpit lighting. I'm going to taxi with the canopy open. Not too sure whether I should do that, but I'm going to because it makes me feel... A bit cooler, to be honest with you. Uh, this will go on the runway heading. I'm not too worried about it today, but for landing, if we do manage to get back for the airfield, because we are going to be very low on fuel. The runway is 03 here at Nellis. Um, and of course, you want to make sure I fly an altimeter of zero. The Americans are going to hate this. Um, they are going to hate this, but I'd rather fly an altimeter of zero for Nellis because I'm British. Although, when we're out here, we actually fly whatever the RPS is or their, their QH for the airfield. I think it's about 1500, but I'm going to fly zero today. Um, not as going to matter up in the mountains, of course, but I'm not going to fly into the ground, hopefully. And this thing, we can pull cage this thing. Come on, cage it. There we go. We'll be using this a bit later as well for our dive profile. So look around the cockpit now, pre taxi, everything looks in place. I'll put the piece on before we get airborne and we'll sort of stuff out and I'll try and work the rest out as we go. I'll also put that on now on the EWR, get rid of the caution lights um, and the gun sight for the first pass, because it's easier to do on the ground. I believe we're going to drop the retards from the center pylon at a first pass with a depression of about 140. And you have to go and play with the depressions. Basically, when this site hits the tank at low level, whatever I've got out there in the play area, which is, I think I've got some BTR-60s, there's also two rotaries out there, or one rotary, I think, it's an MI-8 or something. And there's also a tanker to shoot down as well, just um, we can get some action in the play area. Feels quite important though, and I know I'm gonna to to feed the left low there, so the left load tank, we're going to start feeding that and balancing it, and what we're doing, we're getting airborne now, aren't we? Let's disconnect air supply. Uh, disconnect ground air supply. Yeah, sure, Tim, no worries, man, have a good trip. No worries, thanks so much. Copy. Ground air supply is now disconnected. Well, why are the chocks not disconnected? Get rid of the chocks, Chief. Well, you and I are going to have a word, fam. Right, F2. No, what is it? Remove. Remove them. Now, Chief! Copy. Wheel chocks are now removed. Good. Well done, mate. I'll catch you later, buddy. All right? Thanks for everything you've done. You're an absolute star. Go for a beer later, mate. How's that sound? Yeah, thanks, Tim. No, I don't want that. I want that one. Previous menu. God, these menus. And I'm actually getting used to this, guys. I'm not a master at this. Uh, let's go. God, oh, this is cray cray. Let's go one of those. I've, oh, I've requested to start. This is comedy, right? I don't have an arse traffic. Whatever. Um, now let's. Right, I'm just going to tax anyway. He's going to have a at me, probably. Let's just get rid of the menu, shall we? Right, let's freestyle it. Shocks are out. Right, power them. And I'll hold the button on the stick. Where's my stick? There we go. I would check the brakes quickly. There we go, brakes work. Clear left, right. And you're steering with a button. I mapped it to the stick. So let's get that. 
that's me. Runway three right. Thank you, air traffic. I am taxiing. So it's up here somewhere. I'm steering like some mad fish. Right, so pre-takeoff saying, obviously I don't know what they are for this aircraft, but they're pretty similar for all really. So canopy can come down in a second, I'll do them on the roll. Canopy comes down now. He says, where the hell's the mouse button? Where's the mouse gone? Here we are. Canopy comes down, closed and locked. And yes, we'll have the mirrors active so I can see myself in it. Good, where else are we going? Runway up there, so that's kind of closed and locked. We would have, um, we'll check off trims. Was it zero? I don't know the tri trims are right up there. Trims are right up there. We need a lot of trim on this aircraft today. Trim, a lot of trim. About six, I think it is, for the stores we've got on board. Look, I'm looking under there. Oh, the neck. Luckily, I didn't spend, uh, what, well, the best part of my life, a decade teaching air combat on the Hawk, and I haven't got Hawk neck. Jeez. Yes, I have got Hawk neck. Right, so we're gonna hold here for a second, okay? So we've got zero on the trim. I would say neutral, neutral for the other two. I don't know where the other two trims live, uh, but you make sure your trims are neutral, please, in the airplane, obviously. And then we're going to have um, probably, let's have a look. So we want flaps. I've got fixed position on the flaps. You can see on the wing, that should get me airborne. Uh, I've got that as well. I need the nose oleo extended. So this extends the nose. So it should move the nose up a little bit. Watch this. Oh, how gangster is that? Oh, look at that. That's so good, I'm gonna do it again. Oh, look at that. This gives us a few extra alpha. Oh, I love this. That's gonna help us get airborne, okay? Just presents more of the, uh, the aircraft to the wind. High takeoff speed today, about 168 knots, okay? Don't know what the tire limiting speed in this aircraft is, but it's quite high. We're being reheat on both, and I'll check here that both the nozzles were lit for us, all right? Um, we'll make sure the seat is armed. I'm not too sure I do that. Probably looks armed. What's that button do? A seat adjust. Right, make sure the seat is armed. Make sure the, um, if there was a canopy explosive rail, which it doesn't seem to be, we'd make sure that was also armed as well. We would um, give ourselves uh, a take of Murchie's brief, really, but the runway zero three at Nellis, I can't remember what that is. I think there's an overrun, but obviously any, we're heavy. If I do get any snags, I'm just gonna hit that there, Murchie or Jetson, all right? And it is selected to all Jetson. Everything should come off with that. And what I'm gonna do, I know I'm gonna drop, um, I know I'm gonna go safe initially, but as I get airborne, we'll fence in and I'll start making some nine Lehmans. Live, right, let's get some takeoff, guys, can we? Because you're like, Davies, this is the most tedious flight tape in the world. It's like, oh, really, yeah, rare. You, you're not even making it, mate. You're not sweating away. Now, please, air traffic, now. Oh. Destiny 2836. I'm pretty much there, aren't I? Round about that. I can't. Fine, fine. Uh, Roger that air traffic. Thank you much. All right, let's roll in my new pimped up ride. Pimped up ride. How cool is this? Yeah. Use all the runway. Every single last bit of it. One day you're going to need it. And you don't want to be sat there going, I wish I'd listened to Tim's advice as we roll off the end of the runway. Right, I would hold on the wheel brakes and power up against that, guys, okay? Let's wheel brakes now. I've got, I've mapped a wheel brake button to my stick, that's all. So approach path we did check was clear. We have got fixed flat, which is good. Um, we are all live and we do have clearance to get airborne. I'm gonna try and hold it on this. And what I'm gonna do is put each um, into, each engine into reheat separately. So both throttles come up to the reheat range. Now I'm looking at the nozzles. There's max on there's nozzles on the left then, please. I want reheat there. That kicks, that's lit. Right, kicks, and lit. I want to come on, that's it, lighting, and I'm rolling. Initially knows will, initially knows will. That's right, now we feed the rudder in. Gosh, she bites, doesn't she? High takeoff speed, Davies, that's it. High takeoff speed in your pimp mobile. 100 knots, it's good speed. Approaching 150, pretty much committed at this point. So right, 168, I think, knots was the approach. That's it, stick coming back. She flies, positive rate of climb, gears travel, come on gear, wrong button, gears travel, hold the attitude, flaps are remaining at fixed at the moment, I'm going to see if I can put them into some kind of auto mode in a second, what's that, up, oh I didn't really want that, I want auto flap, come on, but I'll probably run around the target area with them and fix at the moment, and why is my, I've left my sight on, I don't even want it on at the moment, so I'm going to turn it off, you don't need it on, right, and I would go to radar, 
and we then speak and get ourselves into the range complex. So the heading's about 300 I want, um, as I pass through about 260 knots really, which is our service's limiting speed, if I remember correctly. I don't know much about this airplane, guys. I just want to see whether, you, you know, give some feedback here on whether you, um, whether it's actually, you know, good visibility for you, whether it looks nice and pretty, all that kind of stuff, you know, whether you get on with the VR or you don't. Because this is obviously where I look for real, guys, okay? For real. Uh, now, I'm not too sure. I think it's 300 heading, but that does, does that seem right to me? I might have to go to the map in a minute. Because I don't have a navigation system here. Flight path's good on roll out then, and just check that dead wing, a lot of traffic out there, okay? Dead wing's good. 300 knots, and we're gonna come out and reheat for cam. And I've asked officially made it louder in the jet so I can tell when it's on. Let me just see where I'm going. Let me talk to you about the target area then. Uh, there I am. Oh, I'm still flying, of course, aren't I? That's dangerous, that is. Maybe I should pause the game. No, I can't pause the game. Let me resume. Okay, F10. F1. All right, let's keep the climb going. Speed is good. Let's just pause here then. I can't pause. I know why. Let's pause. Right, but now I can't go F10. Yes, no, I can't. This is where we're going over here, bad people. What the hell's he doing over there? No idea. What are they doing over there? Shouldn't be there, we're going to find that thing first. Okay, so we're gonna fence in then. When you fence in, you do your weapons check. So for me, I know that I'm, it needs to be on safe here and nothing selective for me to use the, the missiles and that tanker is gonna get some. I also, with my bombs then, want to make sure, I'm not gonna use them now, but I'll drop them in quite a close interval for the um, tanks and I want nose tail as well selected for them. Now I've got this switch here modelled, so I am safe. One thing I will need is the missile for the, uh, the AIM-9 Lehmans to shoot down the thing. I'm gonna select that, I'm probably doing this wrong. That's all ready to go for 140 mil, yeah, so for the bomb, so I can get on missile. I'm gonna need to actually pick this up here, and I've got a switch model for this, and of course I can't remember which switch that is, and I'm looking in completely wrong place, and anything could happen at all, okay? So I'm gonna move a switch, let's see what happens. Yes! So you have camera down there, or this. This is what's so great about the Thrustmaster stick. So now we are hunting, or using the radar as well, and I've mapped the radar controls, but I genuinely can't remember what I did. I don't think it's doing anything, is it? Let me just try this, this button. Check chaff and flare as well, and I will do this now. Yeah, you see in the mirror? So we know we've got chaff and flare. You test that before you go across the border. Make sure your weapon switches are good. Nothing's gonna come off because it's safe, apart from the missiles will come off. Look at this, this thing's a nightmare. So I'm gonna use this in a minute. Good airspeed, and let's just check where the uh, Aleutian is, shall we? Yeah, we're on, a, we're on a mission together, guys. We're on a mission together, so I'm going across. I don't know what, those helicopters should not be doing anything. It should be not be moving. They were tied to a fixed position. Shows how good I am at this game already, doesn't it? Right, so radar, do something. No, yeah, now we're doing something. So we're painting, we're looking down, that's why. I need to look up, and I should be hopefully seeing a target on here pretty soon. Uh, could that, no, so he's, I've got my cursor in the middle here, ready to rock and roll if this little airplane does pitch up somewhere. Now it's a 30 mile scale at the moment. Can't imagine they're further than 30 mile away. Oh, is it landed? Oh, let's go and hunt for helicopters then. So we're gonna go north. What is going on? It must have landed at that base. That's not what I told it to do. It has to do what I tell it to do, 270 knots. So we're kind of getting a bit critical now. So flaps are up. I'm just gonna move them to a fixed position because by doing that, it does give me some flap. Auto, that's what I wanted. Yeah, it's also when it's in the air, isn't it? I think fixed on the ground. That's gonna help. It's gonna say, yeah, you need some flaps. In there somewhere, down there low, there is a little helicopter. And we're gonna hunt it. I think it's a troop helicopter, transport helicopter, and we are gonna shoot it down with extreme prejudice because it is the enemy and we do not like the enemy. The funny thing about the enemy is Everyone's trying to do the right thing in conflict. There, there isn't a good and bad side, really. And I'm, you know, ISIS. I'm sure we could we could talk about, but you have to remember a lot of like the Taliban. A, a young boy's handed a rifle and, and ten dollars and told to go and shoot it at the Americans. And if you're in their position as well, you're probably doing the same thing. To be honest, it kind of is a lot dependent on where you're born. This is why equal opportunity is important, guys. 
for all, of course. And that brings me to talk about hard work whilst we're going over here, because one of the things I'm getting in a lot of emails is people are asking me, Tim, how do I become a pilot in the Air Force or whatever, and they haven't actually done any work on it yet, which means they haven't actually gone to the RF website and, and had a look at it, and they, they don't know what qualifications they need because they haven't read the page. They, they want me to answer all their problems for them, and you know, I'm working two companies, guys. I am also making a, a sim video for you, which is going to take me quite a few hours, uh, but using all the Patreon money to make this easier and quicker. Um, hence, I've got a more powerful Mac coming on board pretty soon. Um, I've got recording devices and everything else that people have, all well, the Patreon money goes towards so I can make these videos quicker for you and um, simpler. So over the back of the ridge, then in the valley, um, we're heading about 350, you'll find that. Okay, what do you know? So that's that valley over there. So he's coming to the low ground here and I might try and get him on the radar first. So I would have obviously said fenced in. I would do a lot of comm with um, the controlling agency for the, the range complex because you obviously speak to them before you go into the range. And we are weapons live as we go in. I have checked the chaff, so I am ready to fight. I would never be alone, by the way. I'd always have a wingman, or three. I mean, normally, on a flag mission especially, you, you'd, be, you'd be in a big package of people. Now, one thing I find, actually, um, on DCS, when I fly on DCS with some DCS people who know DCS very well, and I don't, which is why I'm learning, um, is it can be obvious sometimes that they know DCS very well, but airmanship is poor. And what I mean by that is, so across the high fan, you're going into the zone on the, I would call for entering the 62 Bravo to engage MI6, roger right that. So it's in there in the low ground somewhere. So let's get that radar looking down for a start, see if we can pick anything up in the, in the low ground. Clear out the ground clutter. Hard to do. Let's get descent on. Pre-descent, altimetry will be good. Everything else, I think we're going to be somewhere over here. Let's have a look. I hate using this for this, but you kind of have to in a way. He's on the left-hand side. Yeah, he's just on the internet, isn't he? Let's get as big a zoomed in. So we're going to take him as a tail shot, probably, which is great. It's coming on to west now. Now, heads out, guys. This is where I'd look for real. So I'm looking on to west. Always think sun. What's the sun doing? What's the environment doing? So that aircraft is in that area there somewhere. Let's get that radar squared away. I don't care if I can't see him on the radar. I'm going to come down. Now, if you're stalking an aircraft that has guns on it, I'm not too sure this one has, you better get it right first time. And that's why I'm a little bit heads out. And look around the HUD. The HUD's useless to you until you acquire them. I hate using F10, but I'm going to have to because I'm new at this game. So left 11, coming down the side of that wall. So yeah, he's going to be down there somewhere. Let's stay high, visually acquire. Visually acquire, guys. Visually acquire. There, tally. Left. Engaging. Flap. Also happy. Let's get a growl. Let's do a fly past first, shall we? So you can see him. I'm going to fly underneath him. Flying on top of helicopters knocks him out of the sky. So if there's any guns in this thing, I might have messed this up completely for you guys. If there's not as any guns on it, so let's do a fly by on this. Okay, good. So we can take a tail shot on this thing. Okay, so we will. No, lucky, no guns on that. That's what would be toast. I wanted to just show you first, okay? Fighting helicopters is an absolute nightmare for a jet guy. It just is. It's horrendous, all right? So that drags you out. I have no idea. I hope not. I'll leave it like that. I don't want to mess with that. Right, so I'm getting my airspeed back, guys. You can see, because without... Oh man, this happened the other day as well. Lost reheat. I don't know if this is buggy or not, but I get this sometimes. See, now I'm going to be really limited on what I can do now without reheat on this mission. So let's get, you've got fuel pumps on. All right, so that's us out, right, so that's us throttles right back. Let's go. I'm going to have to look outside. No, right. We are in an F5, fully loaded up without reheat. I'm going to struggle. I'm not even joking. That flap's doing its thing, guys, which is brilliant. Right, so energy management in the key then, 270 knots. Let's go and kill this thing. Then we're going to kill some armor. Get rid of these bombs, light as possible. How's the fuel going? Fuel is balanced. 
I don't know why it's not giving me reheat. Um, I did map reheat to the, the top of the throttle range. I did have this before, actually. Let's just keep it going. Keep it coming around the turn. It's over there somewhere. So yeah, when you're down here low, you're vulnerable. Uh, you, know, you really are, so you've got to be very careful. This is why you roll around in pairs, and if I am striking at low targets, I'll have someone up above me. So if I'm doing some retard, which we are going to do in a minute, some retard, retarded bombs, I'll have someone up top looking out. 270 knots. I mean, this is really difficult now without reheat. I'm struggling. Come on. Come on, you're in the top gate. Come on, we're in that reheat range, we're not, are we? It's not going through reheat range. Why not? What did you even see there? Because I took the, what I did do, you can um, model it. You can model the bloody helicopter's gone now. F5, F10. Right, here we are, two, seven, yeah, top of the You can want to get rid of this helicopter and then we're going to hit some targets. You can model um, gates on this throttle. I think it sometimes gets confused about what a gate is. Look around the HUD, look around the HUD. Um, what a gate is really for, you can actually lift this throttle up. You can probably hear it on a microphone. Um, and you can actually put it in some other place to, to put it into reheat. I might have to try and map that in a second if I can't get reheat because I don't think it will survive too well with energy. Heli Chipter, where are you, buddy? This is the thing, you can't fight what you can't see. Even if I was sensible, the helicopter would land in amongst here somewhere. Because it does not want a 9 Nemo in its face. Come on, that's one last look at F10. F10 is a huge cheat, isn't it? So, pretty much coming south. Because the thing is, I can't maneuver with all this on. You never, there he is. I'll see if I get nine lean on the beam. You really can't maneuver. Flaps are good. Auto, I need a growl. Come on. I'm never going to lock on this. There's a growl. And for 1 1 Fox 2. Oh, you, you did it him? Just flare off these, mate. Flare off these. Oh, buddy. Let's put up above it. Have some of that. That sometimes damages them. Oh, I've got a nightmare. Now I've got not only... Fighting a helicopter is hard. I'm not even joking. Look, that's exactly what he's doing. He's pointing at me the whole time. That is sensible. I've got to get... He knows I'm heavy. He knows I'm heavy. I've got to get myself into position. And this mountains, it's hot. And it, look, I just cannot turn on this guy. He's a sensible helicopter pilot. I put him down as good, by the way. But I must admit, I'm struggling. And to go off now and bomb targets, look at this. I just am really, really struggling anyway. I just can't regain energy. And I must admit, I'm not able. To, I'm going to try and map these joysticks for thrust reverse. Not thrust reverse. For. Oh, come on. Why can't I get that? So, how come I had it on takeoff? That's what I understand. 100% nozzles, it's got like a nozzle failure. Uh, did I take the notch out? Stand by. Yeah, so I've got full range. The only thing you can really do is kind of put it in again. 230 knots, there's not much I can do with that helicopter with this speed. I'm literally, with all I've got on, we'll take one more shot with the nine lima. If we can. It's going to be a late spot. See if he's got any sense, he's running along that mountain over there. So I've got to find him. Anyway, we do that, so F10. And then we're going to hit the ground targets because we're just out of the fuel. It's in there somewhere. I'll take one F10 look only. I'll treat it fair, okay? One F10. Okay, I reckon I'm going the right way. He's coming down that side mountain, Roger that. So he's in there somewhere. If I get a spot on him, I'll take the shot. Yeah, visual, tally. On the nose. Oh, that's his shadow. All right, let's get one nine lean at him. Now. Look at my energy levels. That's the problem. 220 knots. Right, you're surviving, buddy. Best of luck to you. Hope you make it. Those nine lemurs were rubbish. Look at this energy though. So I've got nothing now. I've got to go and play with these tanks and get the bombs off. I've got to get these bombs off. 
sensible guy would have gone straight to that. All dust. Right. That's a nine lima still going, oi, oi, darling. It's like, yeah, mate, nice. Right, I'm going up there, heading up there, hit the tanks. Okay, let's go. Chance I was getting back to Nellis today. Pretty slim. This is only really for me to have a look at, guys, and to just work out, for me, the best settings for recording these things. You know, what's the best mic to use, all that kind of stuff. So if you like it, I'll try and jump across and just check the reheat part for me. Trimming is all, it's all about trimming, guys. Everything about trimming. If you trim, especially in the weapon delivery profile, you make it so easy for yourself. Elsa Jet's doing this the whole time, okay? And it's an unsafe release. You don't want to do that. Anyway, I've got no missiles on the wing, so let's get rid of these. And the first pass for us is gonna get the center section bombs off retarded bombs, so I want that, I want that safe, I want that to be bomb, and I want this to be, but I'm gonna leave it on safer now, of course, because um, I don't wanna drop bombs somewhere I'm not supposed to. It's behind this mountain ridge here, and we can jump out and see if I can get these controls sorted for a reheat. Just controls. See, and that's the problem, so it doesn't know, does it? It doesn't know that I'm doing this. It's gonna be under throttles, I think it is. We well, could shut one down and relight. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Right, what speed have I got? Am I good? Yeah, 300. Right, let's shut the right down. Right, now it's getting lit again. So, I've got airflow through it, it's fine. I need the engine start to go on now. Yeah, that's pressed. And now I need the throttle to go back to idle. Come on. The igniters are firing, jets all over the place. Engine's coming up. It's on the right hand side there. Yeah, I'm not intentionally, I don't think I'm intentionally relight the throttle in the air, guys. I'm just trying to regain got good airflow through it you see I'm just trying to regain the uh, reheat so 50% really you can consider that's lit yep she's lit she's cooling down let's see what I get now Look at the nozzles on here go boom come on negative it's highly depressing because really, we're going to struggle to get back to Nellis with all this weight on. So the first to pass will be first run attack against whatever tanks I can. I'm getting rid of all the bombs in the centre section. I do realise I partially pulled my drag handle. I don't know why that is. Don't know why that is. Um, yeah, caution lit. Because why? Because you shut down your engine, you idiot. Okay, fine. We've got fuel pumps on anyway. What's that down there? Pylons. So balance the left. We still could do a bit more balancing. It fuel flow is good. I mean, this is the great thing about this. If I manage the energy properly on this airplane, we get to go back to Nellis. If I don't manage it properly, um, we crash and die. So first run attack up here would not be good up this area on this LOA. And you can need to come in here. So I'm gonna head over these mountains, drop down low level, come in and do a first run there. And it's gonna be hard to find guys, but so they're gonna be in the lee over there, just at that bit. So think about the sun. So I'm gonna be coming out of the sun, which is good. They are gonna fire at me. It may, may well take it out, actually. This is a highly risky maneuver to do, but they really don't wanna do it again. So you wanna check those switches are live. So yes, live. I've got, make sure you've got, uh, I've got a ripple done. And also I've got nose tail selected, so the bombs will arm. There's bomb, sight is done. Center section pylon is selected and uh, nothing there is jetson. Well, that's fine, right. Let's get to work. Down low, that's what we need. Okay, and I'll just check flares again. So I'm gonna need some of those. Now obviously when you put a flare out, it does tell them where you need, where they need, uh, where, where you are. But if you're coming for a target like this, where the mayor of man pads, which is man portable air defense systems, such as SA7, 14, 16, 18, Stinger, anything like that, then you wanna be flaring like a ninja. Okay, the ninja's flare? No, I don't know flaring like a 1970s soul band. How about that? Right, they're in over there somewhere. Right, don't pull too much in the turn, Davies, because you don't have much to pull, mate, because you only got 330 knots. You're going into a target area at 350 knots, mate, that's criminal. It's absolutely criminal. This, I'd be 450 minimum. And even then, as fast as it could be, because I'm going to expose myself massively here to the ground fire. BTR 60s, anything I see in this area, we declared, I believe it was Fallujah where um, the, the Royal Air Force didn't participate in because that was not our war, but we've declared this whole box of non-friendlies. There we go, I think I'm tally with something out there. So Enfield 1-1 in from the southeast this time, in hot, Roger, Enfield 1-1. I don't think that's a target. 
I'm looking for small black squares and I'm not activating the zoom guys because I don't want to do that. Got to be assured of the target guys. Yes, tally one. Get the speed up Davies, come on. Low, 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 low. Fire's going to come in back. There, there we go, there's a fire. Come on guys, you can't shoot for shit. Stand by. And committing. Off target, chaff flare. Oh, oh, destroyed it. Yeah, boy. Look at that. Dons are fast. I'm looking at the back of the jet now. Chaff flare, chaff flare, chaff flare. Energy manage. Energy manage. Right, now we have to do high profiles and you're slow and you haven't got reheat. You won't be using reheat in the air if you can. Fuel onto low. That was a pretty good pass, man. Loving that shit. Still got it, Davey. Still got it. Right, let's have a look. Let's get rid of the big bombs. Inboards then. And we'll try an inboard. Try both of these, actually, if we can. One pass, nose tail, so we'll go through it again, guys. There's no spacing on these, because I'm not going to commit the package, but I have got nose tail selected, we have got the switches live, bombs are good, negative for jettison, all pylons down, only pylons up selected for the attack. And again, a good LOA out of the sun is going to be what I'm looking for today. And on there is about, uh, going to be southeast, uh, uh, well, south southeast the LOA, line of attack, guys, line of attack. Nice high sun, let's drop in out of the sun, it's going to be hard for them to see us. So we've already got one of them, so they are angry. 5,600 feet, of course, that's not AGL here because we're in the mountains here, but I want to get the bomb off about, um, if I can, a nice about 400 knots. Now the depression here, I'm going to need rockets. Oh, we're going to need less than this for this. 140 for low tack, and I think it should be about 90. I'm going to give it 100. No, give it 120. Give it 100, Davies, give it 100. I don't know what the mills are. 100's good, he says, not knowing what he's doing. Right, so we can see where there'll be a plume of smoke there. Now what I'm going to do is tip in, so that's a bad tip in. So I'm just going to tip in like that, it's poor tip in. It should be roll for line, pull for deflection, I'll show what that means later. So I'm looking up above the HUD now guys, we are going to drop in that area. I'm trying to find any vehicle I can. There's a vehicle there, stand by, trim, 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 trimming's key, trimming's key. Now, one has gone. Up and off, chaff flare. There must be more vehicles here, I'm not seeing that many. They've driven off us. I've only got one there. No, that went long, didn't it? That went long. No, that's a CBU, wasn't it? Look, that's a CBU down there. So I dropped a CBU. So there's another one. I've got that energy, 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 energy. I've got that one there. So another good LOA. And I'm, so it's on the wing tip now. See where the bomb strike is there. I wonder if you use the cursor. It might not come out, of course, come on the VR. So I'm going for something here that dude there I'm going for. So I'm pointing at the mountains, which I've got to think about the recovery. It looks okay to me. Uh, again, out of the sun. And if you want to know what dive, set yourself up again, guys. So one, both went, didn't they? So now it's rockets. So now rockets, both rockets, and then we're going to go home. Again, so if you want to know what dive you've got to be doing, put your wingtip on it like that. Look at this thing here. That's 10 degrees, I need to come in because that would be too far out. 230 knots, you really need to control that speed more. So I'm going to pick that speed up in the dive and I'm going to make, I'm going to stay level. Well, actually, I'm just going to roll in. I'm going to try and find the target because it's hard to see from up here. Come on, no reheat. Man, this is killing me. Roll. Right, so what's my angle? Well, it's rocket, so we're going to accept that. Come on. Yes, tally. Okay, so I'm, I'm switch pigs, switch pigs, Davies out of there. Switch pigs. Yeah, what didn't you do? Left it on bombs, QI. Yeah, weapons instructor. Qualified weapons instructor. We'll have a massive go at me. I'm exposing myself to fire. Sort yourself out. Get it on rockets now. Sorry, I will. I was a QFI. I was a flying instructor, not a weapons instructor. You should know better, Davies. Yeah, I should, but I don't. Chaff flare, chaff flare. Right, so we have to stick to rockets. So rocket, rocket, both selected stations, probably two passes. If I can get away with it in one pass, we'll go home, try to get back to the next, because we have not got much fuel. Yeah, I need to get back to Dallas. Oh, out we go. Right. Come on. In we go. So we're rocked. Here we go. So we're going for pull, roll. There we go. Roll for line. There's my line. Pull now for the deflection you need. There we go. Chaff flare, chaff flare, chaff flare. Come on, break out targets. There's one. 
Oh, where's that going? That is the complete, yeah, again, what have you done, Davies? I didn't reset to 14 mils. You are awful. Yeah, I don't know the jet. I don't know the jet. 14 mils. Crikey. So now I know my scan needs to be, this is only a test. This, this has, sight picture has to also come into all of this. I need to write some check cards for myself. Okay, well, let's get rid of the rockets on this next pass anyway. What's the fuel? Not looking great. Okay, let's get back in there. Chaff, chaff layer. It's probably last pass, hopefully. Anyway, I'm only gonna put this video out to see if you guys like it, whatever. Oh, and then I'll put out some better videos, hopefully. And Enfield 1-1 is in hot from the east. Enfield 1-1. Okay, identify a target. That's nicely there. Speed's building up. Let's start getting some rockets out. Nice. Cool with the sniper. Yeah, firing at me now. Yes, you are. <laughs> okay, so I know where he is. One more pass, all the rockets in his face, and then we're going home. Chaff layer. Let's do it. Slight climb, 400 knots. I want to hold that energy. Auto flap we've got. And this is gonna take us on an LOA that we can just go home. And I'll jetson these canisters as well, which you wouldn't do for real, because you'd refill them. But you know, in this situation here, I don't want it. Try and pad up the target if you can. And Info 1-1 in hot from the uh, south, uh, from the northwest. Info 1-1. Come on, dude, where are you? That's you there, isn't it? Oh, I haven't got any. Right, 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 missiles. Out of rockets. Good, we're out. Look at that. Oh, damn, is it some percent? Yay! Destroyed! Right, so we're still defensive. I would have uh, nine lemurs back up now if I did, but we're exiting the area back to Nellis, and I need to get myself a quick steer, so I'm going to do that by getting F10 up. Positive vector. South Davies. Yeah, roger that. So we are s struggling for obviously everything really. So I'm getting rid of the canisters now. So they're there, they're there. I'm going to jettison. So I'm going to select them up. They are up already. Pylons jettison, and I'm going to get rid of them. Press that button twice always, guys, because it doesn't go right. Let's get back to safe now. You would have nine lemurs up, but of course it can't. And all switches back to normal. Map that switch, didn't I? As I fence out, what switch is that one? I can't remember. I've got so many switches, that's the problem. No, yes, off, good. Cover down. I don't like the look of that drag shoot. It's pretty unsafe to me, but I don't generally, I don't honestly know whether I've got a drag shoot or not. I'll try and use it online if I can. Radar still, still stay active. Fuel I'm concerned about, but it's all right. I've got balance, it's balanced, got the pumps, and the uh, sight can go back to normal. So actually, I don't think it's that bad a video. Well, it's Probably it's really bad actually, to be honest with you, but to work on. I want to see basically, what I want to do is uh, just have a look at, because what I'm looking fidelity wise from an Oculus, it's not an S, it's a, it's a Rift. My fidelity is not great here, so I have to kind of stare at things and try and read things. It doesn't really help. Um, so what I'm, what I'm trying to do is, can I give you this presentation in a better manner, if you know what I mean? Uh, is, that, is that possible? Is that possible to do? In which case, if it is possible to do, and that'd be absolutely great, I would climb back. If I knew the range to Nellis, I'd climb out of here twice that range to save fuel. So I am climbing up at the moment, and I, I've got a funny feeling it's about 40 miles, so I'm going up to about 8,000 feet. It's great. And I'm going to use that F10 ruler thing. Where's the ruler? Come on. I'll just check now from what it was to there. So, yeah, yeah 40 miles. So I'd climb it twice the range. It's fine. And it'll be an approach back into runway 03. The Americans like to fly straight in approaches, They're kind of procedural. Uh, in the Air Force, we don't do that, but when we're flying out in Ellis or whatever, of course we do, because it's not our airfield, it's theirs. And I would fly back at 300 knots for fuel guys, but I think, he says knowledgeably, that we should be okay. Check that you're ready for recovery, so um, in a minute we'll descend. If, if, if you're out, say, I'm going to 10,000 feet, in fact, to keep the math simple, I'm at 10,000 feet, so for my descent now, um, I'd probably descend when I was about 15 miles out. 
But of course, what you would be doing is following what Nellis tell you to do. And uh, that makes a lot of sense, it's their airfield. So you'd be talking about traffic. Now, you talk to the range frequency and you just sign out the range pretty much. Say, hey, I'm going home. They go, oh, okay, Torres. If I make it for fuel, I had huge fuel issues coming out of, coming out of Nellis. 160, let's go for 170. Coming out of Nellis, um, or coming out of these ranges, because I was up in these ranges on a flag teaching uh, with some Israeli pilots, some teaching them close air support. What we did there wasn't CAS, I didn't have a, a it wasn't close air support, it didn't have a JTAC or anyone talking beyond or anything. Pretty much it's more of an AI mission, an airborne interdiction mission where I've got kind of pre planned target set. This jet really, this is um, the F5E Tiger II with the AJ85 engines was an upgrade really on the F5A. Uh, now the Americans uh, bought the Talon, the T30, T38, yeah. But they also um, made this airplane, Northrop made this airplane because you can see Vegas in the distance there. Uh, so I'm happy that I'm outside the range complex so my radar can stay on for SA, for situation awareness. They also made this aircraft for the export market and they did really well with it, with it actually, which is really cool. So, oh, I don't know how this thing works. I want to cage it, but it doesn't want to cage, fine. You can adjust scales on this, you can do that. Um, what's our fuel? We've got a caution because we've got low fuel light, so I am going to bring a throttle back now. Chance might not make it actually, guys. So, I know it's boring for you. I'll see if I can not make it too boring. Let's get the fuel flow right down. So what's the minimum then? So I think about 260, 270 is the minimum. And we've got auto flap giving us clean flap at the moment, but if I do get myself into a speed range, I'll get flap deployed. It's gonna to add to the drag, isn't it? But the red flag I did out of Nellis was, um, I, I flew the night waves for the close air support. And actually it was a quite a sensitive one, so I can't really talk too much about what, you know, stuff we briefed, that's fair enough, you wouldn't expect me to, but um, it's probably the best exercise you can do. Bar none, I think in the world. We do a tactical leadership program, which is a NATO based one. It's pretty cool, but this, this is war space for me. And this is incredible. The range complex up here and everything, what you can do is absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. So I'll do more videos with F-18 and some other stuff down there. We can see, uh, if you look left 11, you can see Nellis. So I'm just gonna join really uh, an idle approach and I'll be calling them up now. I wonder if I can call them up. I wonder if they modelled that ATC. Nellis. Inbound. Oh, cool. One, one. Inbound. No fuel. Two, one. Really? I just got everyone zero three. Man, you got to do that to me. Okay, well, that's all right. So, two one. I don't know. It's crest landing, probably. Uh, I assume that's what I do. Infield one one. Request landing. That'd have been useful to know. Because now I'm looking like an idiot. I'm going to land anyway. I would probably at this point with that kind of fuel. Well, I'm probably declared it. A fuel emergency, probably. See why this mission wouldn't have been possible, really. It would have been quicker for you guys to watch, don't get me wrong, but it wouldn't have been dead wings good. It wouldn't have been quicker. Um, it would have been, well, would have crashed with no fuel, basically. Now, radar can go to standby. And I'm on pretty much, that's the problem. That's the problem. Flap should have deployed out. What the hell's the matter with this flap? Come on, give me flap. I need some flap, I need gear. I'm just gonna configure and land, guys. Okay, blow 260, then we are. Gear travels. Yes, it is. Give me the flap I need. Give me landing flap. Full flap, good. Do I speak to traffic again? Just get me on the deck. Quest landing, now. Infield, one, one, request Quest. landing. Which runway, you want me? Which runway? Right, doesn't matter. And if you can, I'll just tell them. And I'm making an approach to runway 21 left. There's someone, is that someone lining up? Don't tell me you're lining up. Right, so look at the Alpha Davies, look at the Alpha. Approach speed's gonna be high, you are high. Okay, three greens I've got. 
full flap I have got. Look for the alpha. That's that's good. Now you. Yeah, roger that. Now a bit fast. That's nice. One seventy feels good. Feels good. Feels good. Less power. Less power. Less power. Less power. Down two one. Happy. Pull the shoot. Shoot. Ah, did I get the shoot and then not get the shoot? <gasps> break! 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 Sort that button out. Right, good. Nice mish. Hey guys, so what I'll do then is I'll um, just get this rolled out. Oh, I'll tell you what, I need you to join Patreon so I can buy a fan. Right, let's get it sorted out. I just got the runway, guys. Got to model that brake button. Got to model it. Somehow managed to turn my um I will. Flash up. I will taxi the parking area, thank you. Jeez. By the way, there's a parachute on your runway. <laughs> How'd you like those apples, Nellis? Right, let's get a canopy open, jeez. And what I'm gonna do is get a fan, a USB one I think, and I'm gonna model it. So it all, the turning right in this jet never really works. They know about it. They know about it. Um, oh, and so when I, when I open the canopy, this fan's gonna switch on automatically. It's gonna be excellent. All right, guys, let me park this up here. So not too much of me pausing it and talking to you. God. But um, hopefully you got something out of it. Hopefully you got something out of it. See if this records. Yeah, so that's kind of me done now. Um, hopefully, you know, this is, I'll show you my setup actually. Don't know how I'm going to do that, but I'll take a picture of it, put it in there now. So we've got the Thrustmaster Hotess uh, Warthog. We've got, I wonder if I can angle this camera down a little bit. And this is my setup, my green screen. Okay, so we've got the joystick there. All right, guys. And then you've got the, the throttle quadrant down here. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, I'll do a setup video for you at some point, all right? With all my stuff, all my kit, okay? All right, guys, look, I hope you found that useful. I'll go and see if I can put this together for you now and see whether we can uh, make it into something decent, all right? Oh, I think I need a shower. I think I'll sweat through this top. Tim Davies, Fast Ship Performance.